What's up guys, my name's Brett and today's another hot and sunny day here in Southern California. It's about 91 degrees right now, but I just got back from doing some errands, ditch class today. So uh, yeah, let's get it going. All right, so I'm just uh, here eating some lunch right now. But uh, what I wanted to talk about was yesterday I couldn't find my turtle. Now, I haven't seen her since yesterday, or two days ago. So now I gotta go out there and look for her. And the problem is she can either A, be under the wood pile, B, she could have dug a burrow, or C, she might not even be in the backyard at all. And that could be a big problem. So I'm gonna finish up eating here and then I'm gonna go look for her. Hello, turtle, you in here? No. Turtle. I dropped you guys. <laughs> I don't know where the turtle is right now, still. I've been out here for probably like five, 10 minutes already. Still nothing. I already actually tore apart like uh, the ivy right here up against the wood pile. Try to see if she's under there, but still no luck. So continuing the search, let's go. All right, so I was unable to find my turtle. Now, I think the turtle may either be under the wood pile or it just crossed my mind right now that Remember how my neighbor's dogs were jumping my wall? Now, the first time they jumped the wall, they had my turtle in their mouth. And they were, you know, messing with them. So, I know their big dog can jump to the wall that's over here and the wall back into their own backyard. So, my turtle could have been taken out of my own backyard. Which is a big problem if that is in fact the case. So, we're going to do uh, some more searching and uh, do some investigation. I'll keep you guys posted. Alright, well, I'm going to call off the search for today. Um, I checked a lot of places. I couldn't find her. But the one place I still got to check is underneath the wood pile where she could have gone underneath some wood. And I just I can't see her. So, I'll move that out of the way tomorrow and see if she's under there. And then, yeah. But if not... I hope somebody didn't leave the gate open. She could be under the shed too. In the other part of the backyard that she's not supposed to be in. <sighs> Worst case scenario though is the neighbor's dog took her. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see tomorrow. Oh my God, Cricket, you're ruining my life. That's right. Alright, it's about 10 o'clock right now, but you know what? It's never too late for a run, so we're going to get out there, we're going to get motivated, we're going to do it. Let's go for a run, baby. Woo! Ah, uh, these used to look so much cooler when they were new. It's so sad. <laughs> After uh, about maybe like a year and a half, these things are like all worn out and stuff, but you know what? Let's get it. Let's go! Alright guys, I'm at uh, just under a mile. And I want to go back home. <laughs> but no, you know what? Motivation. Keep going forward. Never stop. Go out there tomorrow and do it again. Get your goals. Get what you want in this life. It's not going to be handed to you. So let's go get it. Let's finish this and bring it on home. All right. Whew. You know, you know, two miles is a lot further than I thought it was. Alright, so I wasn't able to run the whole thing yet, but that's going to be something that comes with time. I'm going to go out there, and I'm just going to do it one like step at a time, you know. I'm going to start by running a whole mile straight without stopping, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to keep going further and further each time, every single uh, time I go out there. I don't know if it's going to be every night, but <sighs> we'll try. And then from there, uh, I'll just I'll, I want to feel better about myself, you know. I want to be inspired to do better things in my life and feel better about who I am, so... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out there. <sighs> Tiring though, and it's hard. <sighs> Alright, let's go get cleaned up. Alright guys, so I'm gonna wrap this vlog up now. Um, I guess the last couple nights I forgot to do the question of the night, so we're gonna do that right now. And the question of the night is, if you were to name a planet after yourself, what would it be? I think mine would be uh, Bredicus Prime. Some girl used to call me Bredicus in high school, so 
That sounds pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Something, something fun, something easy. But yeah, what would you name your planet? And as always, like, comment, subscribe. It'll really help me out, and I'll see you tomorrow.